Hi, this is Deborah from Beacon of Light, and today is Sunday, July 21st. It is a full moon in Capricorn, the second full moon of this year in Capricorn. And I'm going to do a special reading for this energy. So we're going to pull, try to pull one card from each of these four decks and see what we got here. I hope everybody's having a great weekend so far. Oh. I'll take this one card here. Um, yeah, I hope everybody's having a great weekend. Thank you for all the comments and the likes and the new subscribers. I appreciate that. Welcome to my channel. I'm going to throw this one here. All right. What is this full moon Capricorn energy? What is it showing us right now? I can feel that one. I have three cards that fell out there. We're going to go ahead and take them. See if we can get everything on camera here. All right, so this first card is Wish Upon a Star. Very pretty. And we have Illumination. Well, a full moon does illuminate things, <laughs> that's for sure. Ooh, and then we have Expansion in Reverse. And we have Dreams. Interesting. All right, and these two bottom cards. Invention, burning with passion. And then Virgo. Interesting. All right. Well, right off the bat, I'm going with this Virgo. It's another earth sign, so it's Capricorn. And Virgo is organized. They're, they're analytical. They're allowing that energy of of determination very similar to what the capricorn sign does because capricorn is determination um allowing um accountability responsibility getting up that mountain and trying to reach your goal virgo is very similar in that except they they like to enjoy their their, the pleasures along the way. So Capricorn can learn a little bit from Virgo where they work, Virgos work really hard, but they also like to enjoy it, it, and reap the rewards of their hard work. So they like to take the breaks and timeouts to go have those, those, um, those vacations and those, those, uh, the, that time away for themselves. It's very important that Virgos have that time for themselves. And this running with passion, it's almost like this Capricorn energy is saying, I want you to run with this passion. I want you to, I want you to illuminate yourself. I want you to live your dreams. I want you to expand. Actually, you know what? I kind of don't want to read this one in reverse. I kind of just want to bring them all together because I can, I, I feel like it all works together. Um, I want like this, this, uh, invention of running with passion. It's like, take this new energy, this new passion for life, this new reinvention. Remember we kept saying we were reinventing ourselves. We are, we have a new version of ourselves. So we are reinventing ourselves right now. And this, these dreams that we want to accomplish, they're in, in they're in our sight. It's almost like we can see the light at the end of the tunnel. It's being illuminated. We can see things. It's like with this wish upon a star, there is so much to be grateful for. There is so much to be um, welcoming into our life. And we need to work hard. The Virgo energy is still telling us we need to work hard, but we also need to enjoy pleasure. We also need to embrace the good things in our life. And Capricorns, and that might be, might be what we're releasing right now with Capricorn. We might be releasing the struggle that the Capricorn sign comes with to, to get to that top. 
we might be releasing the the part that says this is hard we might instead say this is what we asked for and we're going to get through this because we're determined but we're going to have fun while we're doing it and so this energy coming in is trying to allow you to still appreciate all the hard work you're going through and to really see that there is something here you're building for a more stronger foundation in your life and it's worth it you're worth it you are allowing yourself to go through some very difficult challenges in order to be successful in your life and it's important that you see each day that you make these little choice these little adjustments in your life you are being successful in each and every every single moment it's important that you rec <clears throat> you recognize yourself as being important and taking those breaks for yourself taking that time for self-love taking that time for self-nurturing which is what this Virgo energy is kind of trying to bring in also because they work just as hard. They have really great, strong um, work ethics, Virgos do, and very organized individuals. And there, and I have my, my moon in Virgo, so I, I have those same type of tendencies as well. So there is a, this moon this this full moon in capricorn is illuminating a part of your life that wants to be recognized for its hard work and its determination but it also wants you to enjoy the pleasures of life it wants you to embrace all of the good things that you've worked so hard for and this is a time to do that to re recognize that value within yourself and others so that you can have a lot of really great outcomes and goals and rewards in your life so the releasing you're going to be doing is the struggle it's the anger it's the getting upset or frustrated that something isn't going your way you're releasing that frustration you're releasing the struggle of getting of the hard work and now you're going to be determined but yet also enjoy yourself while you're doing it and Thelma's here I know we're pretty much done with the reading but Eric, Thelma wants to say hello so I'm just going to put her up here real quick so she can say hello to everybody yes she's been a good girl just keeping to herself but I hope everybody has a great weekend and I hope this makes sense and remember release the struggle allow yourself to go through this energy with some peace and enjoyment in your life. Have a great weekend. Talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.